Visa Consumer Transaction Control helps to put cardholders in control of their spending using the issuer's mobile application or website. Cardholders can turn on alerts, they can prohibit international transactions, or they can turn their card off or on should it become lost or stolen, thereby minimizing fraud exposure and increasing overall customer satisfaction. But CTC is more than just a way for your cardholders to manage their physical cards. In the future, digital accounts will proliferate consumer devices, being embedded in tablets, phones, wearables, automobiles, the Internet of Things. Using CTC, your cardholders will have a way to completely manage each of those different accounts by setting alerts, restricting their use, turning them off or on, managing them independently or collectively, conveniently and easily using the issuer's mobile banking application or website. CTC is fully customizable. Issuers and developers can choose from a wide variety of card controls. There are controls that operate at the account level, such as the ability to turn a card off or on, as well as the ability to manage total card spending based on daily, monthly, or weekly limits. There are transaction type controls used to manage different types of card activity, such as online purchases, ATM withdrawals, or cross-border activity. There are also merchant level controls used to manage spending at different merchant categories, such as groceries, gasoline, airline tickets, and all of these different controls can be managed independently from one another, giving issuers and their cardholders complete flexibility with how they engage with CTC. So the way CTC works is the card controls are presented to customers using the issuer's mobile banking application. There, the customer can enroll and configure the card control based on their personal preferences and individual spending behavior. They can set different limits for when to trigger a notification versus when to trigger a decline. For example, they may want to receive notifications for any internet purchase over $50, but decline any internet purchase over $500. They can also set different rules for their card versus a card they give to someone else, like a child in college, where they might want to impose more restrictions. Afterwards, when the card is used to make a purchase, transaction information is reviewed by CTC to identify whether it should be approved or declined, or a notification should be sent based on the cardholder's settings. Visa offers issuers a variety of ways to integrate their authorization processing with CTC. Using CTC, issuers can integrate once to offer customizable options across their entire card portfolio. To begin using Visa Consumer Transaction Controls, you'll first need to register on the Visa Developer Center. Once registered, you'll select the Consumer Transaction Control APIs. There, you'll find documentation, test accounts, test tools, and sample code to help you get started. If you have questions, you can use the Need Help link located at the top of the website, or you can contact your local Visa representative to learn more about this service. Thank you for watching.